Hi, and welcome to another episode of Is Word to Me. And on this episode, we talk about things that God has taught us from His Word. Um, you know, a lot of times you pick up the scriptures and you start reading, and while you are reading, some things jumps, jump on your heart, you know, and this is inspiration of the Holy Spirit based on His Word. So these are the things that we try to share with you. But we started a series called The Journey of Faith. And this series is just talking about how we relocated from our in home country into Canada. And we have said a lot of things about this, you know, about this journey of faith. Um, I'm sure if you listen to them, you'll be blessed. I mean, you can just go to previous editions of this series journey of faith and you 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 gotta see but we'll continue from where we started last week and last week when i was talking about how the the you know the university program started they started my my program and i mentioned to us that you know when god um said to you that he will prosper you it does not mean that everything will just be like that be ready for some challenges and you know that that brought, brought you know brought up something in my mind that when you are praying to god for for things you know you should you should be aware you should be conscious of what you are asking for when you are saying god give me the nations god give me the world there are lots of work to do you know for you to acquire the world to get the world so um and so the school started and and when we started the program my first two courses that i i did i failed them and what that means i was explaining in the last episode what that means is that i am out of school and once i am out of school what it means is that i have lost my status in canada and once i lose my status uh, I have that means I have to go back to my country. In fact, they categorically told me that I have to go back to my country. I mean, from the school, you know, from the graduate school. When I went to them to say, so what should I do? What would happen now? I mean, there was someone in that place. I don't know. Uh, 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 I want to say that this one is is an agent of the devil. She, she does not have anything else to say to me than to say go back to your country i mean who does that but anyways that was what i was told that i should go back to my country i mean how will i leave everything and after three months i'm going back to after four months really i'm going back to my country it doesn't make sense so the question i will ask is how did all these things happen is it because i was um, poor Mm -hmm. academically or is it because i was lazy Is it because um, I don't know what to do? Well, the answer to all those questions is no. I wasn't lazy. I was doing my job very well. Was I poor in education? No, I was not poor. While I was in my undergrads, I enjoyed scholarship, you know. And for you to enjoy scholarship, it's not because you are dull head, right? There's something up there. Um, Like I mentioned last, last episode also that you know, during my undergrads, I have done, I have done, I have done computer science, you know, I mean, every uh, areas of my education till PGD level, right? And I was not, I wasn't, I wasn't a failure. I was, you know, successful, you know, so, so the point of academically poor is out of the, mm-hmm. out of the story. Um, so what, so what went wrong now and that will that brought me to my first day my first night in canada my wife do you want to talk about it i i i wanted her to talk about it because oh. it's <laughs> <laughs> um your first night you should tell us what happened my first night yeah i dreamt <laughs> i dreamt i found myself in a house that I have not lived in the last how many years? Ten years. Ten years. And I mean, it's not it's not like it's bad to to see yourself, <laughs> you know, go and greet people. 
But in this situation, I saw that I saw myself in my dad's house and I saw that I have my bags, everything in that place. And I was asking everybody in that dream that, ah, what am I doing here? I'm supposed to be in Canada. What am I doing here? And they said, okay, don't worry, we'll tell you, we'll tell you, says, long story, we'll tell you what happened. We'll, that was my first day in Canada. And that was a dream I, I, you know, I had. I found myself, my bags, everything. I saw myself in my, my, my dad's house. And I was like, so what am I doing here? And, you know, when I woke up, I, I started telling myself, this, 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 is not, this is not a joke. This is, this is something serious. And believe you me, later on, after I had, you know, I was told I should go back to my country and all that, I started praying and all that. I, 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 you know, started talking to God about it. What am I going to do? What, what is the situation at hand and all that? I, that same dream repeated itself in another form. I found myself back home. I saw myself struggling with someone. We were trying to run and all that, and I couldn't make it. And, you know, what am I going to say about this? There are some lessons I want us to learn from it. Number one, when you have dreams, they are important. Don't joke with it. I don't know if you have something to say about, about that. When, when you dream, when you dream, don't trivialize it. Don't trivialize it. Whether it is positive or negative, take action. Take action about your dream. I mean, God spoke dream works really dream works and these are areas it's one of the areas that god speaks to humanity look at joseph in the scriptures the bible says he dreamt and he was telling his his family i saw the i mean his, his brothers yeah that i saw myself and everybody was bowing down to me now it's a dream right but eventually it came to reality so when we have dreams we should not trivialize it and a lot of people have dreams and they forget their dreams and what will i say to you about that pray to god to bring your dreams back to you so that you can remember and you can act upon it that's number one point that i will say about it do not neglect your dream do not trivialize it um, um take it so serious take it so serious because god is saying something to you via your dream number two thing i'm going to talk about it is that you need prayers when you when you have bad dreams when you when dreams come to you and you 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 are not satisfied with what you are saying in that dream you don't need to be afraid you know um uh, god god will show you things not because he wants you to be afraid about it but he wants you to take action you know take action about it so when you have bad dreams what should you do you should pray you should pray 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 you can exhaust praying and that's what the scripture says pray without season so whether it is in good bad palatable unpalatable whatever season you find yourself in your life do what keep praying you know and the bible says the, the prayer of faith with it so you need to pray with faith in your heart hallelujah so the other thing i, I want to say about about your situation is that don't and i've mentioned this a lot and i'll keep saying it until maybe until the end of this series don't be a lone ranger you know share your issues with people that can support you in prayers i was fortunate to be living in pastor shaba's house at that time and thank god for queen shaba she you know when i that day when they when they told me in school that um I can't, uh, I have to go back to my country. There was nobody else that came to my mind. I could only call, you know, Queen Shaba. And I told her, I said, man, I, ca I can't, I can't chew this any longer. Is that, is that I what I know. said? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't chew this again. Uh, like they asked me that I have to go back to my country. Go back to where? And my wife was, I think my wife, my wife was the one with her that day. And she told me exactly what she did, what she did. Uh, she she said what, 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 what was it she she yeah i think we're having a conversation about yeah. it and when you called immediately she dropped the phone she started praying you know 
and that's where I will support um, we sharing our dreams. It could be a good one that God has given to you, that has revealed to you, to share with people that you know that that can stand by. That will, if it is a positive one, they will encourage you, they will advise you, and they will pray with you. Even if you need some step to take, they can tell you what to do. But if it is a, a dream that um, it's a negative one, people that you can come together to agree together to pray to change the situation no matter the report and that is why in this in our journey to um, Nigerian of faith or in our journey in Canada pastor and pastor Mrs. Shaba no their name you know there's there are other ministers that was there with us but you know we were staying with them we pray together, you know, you know, telling people that can, even if they see that what has happened is, uh, this is the standard, this is the rule, but they can still tell that God is able. If this has happened to other people and they were not able to come out of it, you know, people that will encourage you, even when they know that mm, they have someone that this has happened to them, and the result was not good. Yeah. You know, yeah. but they were still able to tell you that God, God will turn it around for around. you. Yeah. God will bring you out of this. Yeah. You are not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, that alone is is it's a uh, it's positive vibe. Like somebody it will say, help you yourself. Help, yeah. To see yeah. that I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. I'm yeah. here and yeah. I'm here to stay. Yeah. 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 So I mean, we share your burdens. You know, somebody said problem. Um, shared, shared is half solved already. So share your burden, not just with anybody that will sympathize with you. Some people are just sympathizers; they will sympathize. Yeah, it's good to sympathize, but you need people that will agree with you in prayers. You know, and you know, another thing that uh, uh, that that made me not to be too overly worried about this was that even before I came, I was told, you know, that you are like Joseph. You will get to a stage in your life that you will need somebody to help you. And so when all those things happen, I I I I put my solace in God to say, God, you can do this. I will tell you. So what happened? How did I come out of this situation? What did we do? What are the steps that we take? And I believe that if you are going through any situation of life, these are also steps that you can take to take you out. We have mentioned some of them today, but I was still talking about some things that we did, you know, specifically that helped me to come out of that situation. You cannot overemphasize prayer. You must pray. Anyways, I will see you again on the next episode. God bless you. If you have not subscribed, it's an opportunity for you to just hit that subscribe button, um, like it, share with your friends, you know, people in your sphere of influence. And I believe that the blessing will go all around. They are little lights that will become a great light. God bless you and have a great week. Have a great one. Bye.